<laughs> okay, I have just a very small question before we go, because so how much did we recover in terms of hit points? Because I was fairly low after the Okay, the you first. can, I, again, let's, let's drop, pop you up by 10. Okay, perfect. That's, we, the authors of the game will be angry at us for not doing this with a calculator. By, it's, it's okay but they for me. And, 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 but, uh, but, but thinking of the numbers as I understand them, it would come out to about 10. Mm -hmm. Who cares mm -hmm. if it was failure, success, success, failure, statistically, mm -hmm. right? So, um, and we're talking, you know, four days of relatively uneventful travel. No need to push yourselves, right? So no endurance rolls or anything like that. Not right. Necessary, and so, and you, and the camping was good, right? Mm -hmm. Camping yeah. was good, so you guys all slept well and safely and stuff like that, and you know, warmed your bellies with cooked food and stuff. It was fine. So, um, all that is fine. Uh, the, the, what is not fine is whether the two of you can, can get to Vefselk during this round. Each of you has, mm. uh, what is it? 60 feet of, no, I know you're faster with your running wall, but I believe that humans have something like 50 or 60 feet. Movement. Yeah, but that's ordinary movement. I think it's faster. So the given that the scouting in a region like this probably isn't very far. It's not like you're gone for an hour. It's like you go ahead maybe a hundred meters or something like that at a time, because the ground is very broken, and so it's a good idea just to go ahead, you know, a fair amount and look around a perimeter while the others rest, and then come back and say, "Well, we're going to go that way and then down this path." Or down this little cliff, you know, stuff like that. That's typically what we do when hiking, and so mm -hmm. uh, therefore, uh, and, and uh, contouring off of trails and things like that. So in that case, um, you guys are are well. You're you're within running distance, but for uh, for Ithasha, who has no running skill, I'm going to say it's going to take everything she's got to just get there. I'm going to get there later right. than uh, Farid. That's, right. that's now, for Farid, sure. If you make a running roll, then I'm going mm -hmm. to say that you do have a chance to, to attack. Okay, so this, I guess this is a strength roll since it's the... Uh, don't you the, have a skill called running? I don't think oh, I so. I have a good I have a good running speed, but I don't have no. I don't have the skill running. No, no, no. no. All right. Well, in that case, I think I'm not so, going to give you that particular. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a skill roll. You know, that gave you would give you an advantage. It, it has to matter for something, right. yes. So in this case, uh, didn't we make a roll for you to run over to the basilisks, or was that just a strength roll? Uh, no, I think it's it's uh, we did make. Uh, uh, we made a roll, but I don't have that okay. skill. I don't remember what right. was the. So anyway, so the the thing that I want to say is that you uh, you'll get there first, certainly because you are faster. So what you'll see is this situation, um, and you'll be joined in a moment by Ithasha. So at this point, let's all make initiative rolls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I got a five. I got a nine. A six. Okay. Um, the hyena rolled extremely well. You guys are all super fast characters as far as this is concerned. But um, you would definitely be going well before human characters or many of the other races most of the time. But in this case, the hyena nailed a, a, a good roll and is able to go first, barely. Um, with a did actually it has d8 plus one or sorry d10 plus one and it rolled a three so it has a four which I believe is the first. so therefore what it does is it lopes it uses its distance and uh, you know basically does a leap on top of a rock and then leaps off of that and scuttles off you know, into somewhat you can probably see it, but it's over there and you have to kind of keep an eye on it. It's it's doing a fairly evasive uh, mode of, of travel. Um, 
rather than just a zipping off in a straight line. It's you know, jumps on a rock, jumps off, and then zigzags around, but getting farther away from you. So, okay. um, so the three of you are there um, with uh, uh, with Vefselk, you know, cradling a, a very, very wounded arm. Um, are you okay? Vefselk, I think she's not really responding to you. She's like ripping part of her. I think she has a tunic or something. She's ripping it and trying to like stop the bleeding or whatever. Or, or do so, do something to help herself. I mean, I have a, I have the first, I have some first aid skills. So. Roll that. Okay, so let's see. I have first aid. Okay, so I have to beat a thirty-two. Let me see. Really, I'm gonna see if. It's okay, I have, I got a forty-nine. I'm getting bad luck. Yeah. Let me see what happens when I fail. I, I, I don't know what say, happens when I fail. Let's see if it, you know, you. Cause bleeding damage or something like that. May I roll two? Yeah, do you have first aid? Yeah. I have herbalism. Uh, so well, if yeah. I if I herbalism find the right be, thing. Yes, herbalism will be hold on just a moment, okay? Uh -huh. It is a slightly different kind of application. I yeah, think that Vestalk honestly doesn't want someone trying to help. Like she's like in this extreme pain and she's just trying to like zone out and stop this bleeding. So I, I don't think I Let's think she's the one who's got to help us here. Um, All right. Let me wow, if you see if I can find the skill. The first aid skill and the herbalism skill, you can heal others three times faster than normal. That's awesome. Okay, so oh, yeah. here you go. A failed roll means you set a bone wrong. You will need to re-break the bone in order to set it straight. Um, oh, Jesus. In terms of stuff like that. <laughs> In case of a stab wow. wound, the wound has become infected and uh, continue to fester. This is horrible. And so, right, you have, well, I must make a percentage roll each day to determine whether your first aid is helping or not. Um, okay, I think I'm picturing her. It's a she really basically. doesn't want... You've got, you've got an ulnar, you know, a radial fracture for sure. If not right, both right. radial and ulnar, at least the radius is, is cracked. And yeah. um, with that, that squeezing bite and you're not that big okay. and so um and so i mean you've you basically you know you're trying to get the bone and you you think you've got it but your fingers don't work and it's right you know it's, it's you're, oh you're, my you're god pissed right yeah mm -hmm. and i think she has this kind of mistaken idea that she doesn't want the hyenas to like smell her blood i think she's really out of it right. so she's like putting a bunch of sand and dirt on the wound to try to like mask the, the smell of the bleeding or something so she's she's not doing a good a good job here okay so what did the two this is a case do? where the game tells us i still want to roll game. because i, I could stop the, the game is, I, I see. Yeah. sorry you know you go first time sorry i mean i see a chance that i can try to help her whether she wants or not i can make things worse too if i roll badly I was but going to say well um, the, i i do think both of you will realize that she is not spurting blood she is not, an artery was not hit. She is not bleeding out. Um, and the, what you are seeing basically is just, she's obviously, as Sam is playing her, obviously in shock. Yeah. Um, the, so, but, which is not the same as, you know, you can die from shock, but it's not the same as bleeding out from an arterial puncture. Right, so, right, right. right. Um, it's just a good thing that it didn't get its fangs into your exposed wrist. And if Which I don't know if anybody broke their, I broke both of my uh, bone arms, uh, and the shock is a very good reaction. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, it, yeah. Yeah. It, <laughs> no, I, I think I was I was really tripping that day. I was seeing colors right for minutes. No, I've, after I've I been in shock arms. as well. I know exactly what it's like. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, it's, um, the uh the thing that is really weird and, and that's why i'm really getting into sam's description here is that when i smash my hand um and i actually ran accurately and effectively to what we called the nurse's shack which is in mountains um very low tech situation and so i ran effectively to the nurse's shack I didn't collapse on the spot. I navigated and sprinted and ran over broken ground to get there. 
The second I got there and saw that where people were there, I just collapsed. And according to them, mm. to what I remember is a strobe effect. The world went strobe. Yeah. What they told me, they, they had to hold me down to, to see my. Oh, face. wow. Right. Mm. So, um, but it's funny. That's why I'm saying you can seem functional. I mean, we see you like ripping the cloth, right. trying. We see you functional, but then, you know, your eyes are rolling in your head. And, yeah, you know, you're doing all these other irrational things, and it's getting worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upset. Like I'm sticking so exactly dirt in the wound right after I've set the bone. Right. Yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. Exactly the experience that you're, you've described. And so, um, let's uh, let's go ahead and see what the other two do. Um, I'm not going to roll. That's for sure because I can't really help her that way. But I'm going to ask Farid if he can hold her down. Strength just so strength. Uh, the, we know how to do he's that. Probably, he's certainly yeah. stronger than me, and I can at right. least try to clean the wound if he can hold her. Right, that's excellent. So, Farth, will you do that? Yeah, and I'm he's going also to... better, so he can try I, to. Talk I, to I her will her. hesitate, but both yes, of, yeah, I will. Both of you roll and see what you do relative to your strength. Okay, so I got a 46, so I think that means I have a 3. Right, correct. Okay. Right, because 49 minus 46. I got a 30, so you have a 34. Okay, oh, well. Oh, wow. Oh my God, you have a strength of 74? Wow. Yeah. It's, Dude, you've got muscles. Oh, my I God, know. that's insane. Yeah. No, you're like twice okay. as strong as a duster, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, so you've, you so that the both of, both of you know, certainly Ithasha, is uh, is is going to be like you know she's like grab him and he goes grab yeah and I <laughs> think like, this is one of those she's, she's, she's this is one of those cases where it, like a, it's like picking her up like a cat you know you grab her like and he's like <laughs> so the difference now, is trying right. to help me not hurt her I mean like no I, I, I get you and I mean that's the yeah. I mean, you understand what you're doing um so yeah you are you are caught fast. I want to ask what, like, okay, I, I'm picturing, like, if I was to lose me, if I had life points, like, me as a person, and I lost basically a fourth of them in one blow, I feel like I would be completely doing crazy things. So my question is, like, I feel like I would just turn into a drake at this point and try to, like, bite, me? Well, it's bite okay. you. Hold on. But I don't know. I don't want to necessarily that. Right. Let's hold on okay. just a sec. First of all, Hit points in this game are oddly are a little odd. They're they go right. up high with level, and we we have the thing that Lorenzo likes so much that two viable adults could easily be described as one person with twenty five hit points and one person with one hundred and twenty five hit points, and they're two other right identical attributes, healthy adults. So what the hell does that right. even mean? So let's yeah. not be too let's not be too too tissue trauma oriented as far as that right. goes. Right. Number one. Okay, your, yeah. Your your character's reaction is one thousand percent understandable. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that you've literally lost like a quarter of your blood or something like that. Right, 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 right. So, okay. Yeah. So with that in mind, um being grabbed, well, whatever it is you're planning on doing, I'm just gonna say, you know, you're you you have a chance to suddenly reassess your life choices of the moment. All right, yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, I think being grabbed mm -hmm. and like being overpowered, maybe that is good. And so I can just kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just going to try to rattle her. I don't. No, no I understand. Her I understand. Speak. You're not. Yeah. You're not. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're not like restraining her in some kind of abusive way. Right. I completely get that. So I feel like if you were less strong, it would be even more likely to be violent. Like you're so much more strong yeah, than me. Exactly. You probably would just like easily me hold me down. Holding it still. It's not right. the same as like struggling in equal strength human beings. Right. Yeah. 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 How much? I would say too that we both would try to talk to you and to calm you down. I mean that's basic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah this, and uh, I think and again, since there's no psychological traumatized roles in the game we'll just say okay, right you no know, good enough yeah all right so with all that done you guys have a chance to <laughs> you know recover your thoughts and breathe a little and maybe get back to where you were um if you dropped anything you know in your haste or whatever 